Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. Got somebody new, Mr. Evades. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. Just enjoying the new expansion. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, you've been having some fun. Uh, you've you've already reached pro rank, correct? That's right. Yep. Morphine got. Uh, I think almost my first faction to 2,500, which is Skellige. That's good, man. That's real good. Um, Skellige is always a good pick when you're ranking up. Um, so if you guys are looking for something to play, uh, give this a go. Uh, cool and Lance created this um, really cool list. It's not lippy, so I'm sure people will rejoice on that. Um, some of the keys to the deck. Uh, I mean, you can go over some of it. Uh, like, I mean, having last say with Harold, even if you're or even if you go down a card and you have a Herald and Leader, it's still just huge. I mean, it's such a big swing. Yeah, having Leader in round three and saving that for round three is really well. Or with your Blood Eagle to grab your last remaining Warrior. Um, but the list is very similar to what we saw in uh, like last season's meta with only a few of the new cards. Right. Uh, one of them is the Skellige Location, which is... Busted. Uh, <laughs> very it's, powerful right it's so good it, uh, any, yeah, any it's, card that gives you options and then you know you already have cards that self damage so the healing as long as you place it correctly just gets you even more value I mean it always plays for huge points for sure like the bear witcher which is 5 provisions and this which is 8 provisions if you play them both next to each other then it's a combined 13 provisions for 22 total points it, 16 of that is points on your board and six of that is damage so it's just really strong it also has good synergies here with the on create long ship yep yeah it's it's or uh, light long ship yeah it's it's crafted really well you know you got your round one stuff with the protectors and the boats you also have um you know the uh berserker as well to possibly synergize with the thing uh brockvar hunter to set up possibly a madman lugos or your war clans or champions charge Preferably, though, you want to play these in round one, right? Yeah, yeah. you just want to make sure that you establish your graveyard with warriors in round one, for sure. Yeah. Yep. And, and then, uh, you know, you got to uh, be careful with the Vobjorn. You got uh, Blood Eagle, War Clans, Champions Charge, and a Gutting Slash. So it's kind of hard to brick that, but, you know, just keep an eye on it. If you are start drawing a lot of specials or whatever, um, you know, keep an eye on that. But, um yeah, that's the list, uh, Mr. Evades. Uh, thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate it. Um, check him out at twitch.tv slash evades, right? That's right. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was a fun. A-V-A-D-E-S. A-V-A-D-E-S. A -V -A -D -E -S. That's yes. right. All right. So, uh, and then, uh, like always, guys, um, I'll have all his info in the description and pinned to the video. And then, um, you know, make sure you check out teamleviathangaming.com if you're new. They got a lot of stuff for the crafting guide and uh, beginner stuff. Um, and then, um, you know, keep an eye on this channel for more ladder leverage. Uh, Meta snapshot, probably in about a week, week and a half on TLG. So here's a couple games. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you at the end. Awesome, dude. Good to go. Four, yeah, that's fun. 40 minute video. It's good it's good winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it usually helps. I mean, co-oping is always, you know, like you see things, you know what I mean, like that somebody else doesn't see, you know. Oh, for and, sure, like yeah. me. I'm like, yeah, we'll just slam down the uh the bear witcher. And I, he didn't end up having good knee. He had uh heat wave, so we were fine, but just still, in case, yeah. It's... That would have made us either had to be his leader or not get last say. So, it would have been really tough where especially where he played a super nice Hopefully. So it's a lippy, friend. Yeah. So lippy here, I think the strongest thing we have is our leader to kind of claw. Because they uh, overswarm quite a bit. So like a lot of times you want to do your leader and then you don't necessarily always want to play Hemdall with it. Um, <sighs> Drop the hunter, huh? Yeah, there's not a ton of synergy in the sand with it. Then I'd say probably drop... The invader. Uh, yeah, you can drop invader. There we go. We got a boat. Now. A cutting slash does have some synergy with oh, getting rid wait. of like uh, new cards. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't kill that because we're not a yeah friend. Yeah, if we do long ship first, though, we can take it out as long as he doesn't boost it. Um, another option would be just to drop totem. 
And then when we play our Hemi Protector, we boost it up right away, but... Yeah, I, I would just go for long ship. Because then we can damage it. It puts him in a spot. Do I do it now, or no? Yeah, I would do it now. Because if you don't do it now, and he uses Gutting Slash, he gets 4 points of removal, versus now he gets 3 points. So it's... So... Oh, oh shit. So he does get the boost. Oh, he boosts both of them. Yeah, so... So we can start Gutting Slash to kill one of them. That's a lot of long rounds potential that he's lost that on. Plus we're playing Skellige, so that might just be our more for our target. True. And then that gets it down to three oh, points. Still a lippy friend. Maybe okay. not. Maybe not. Need to get no rest. No yeah, could be. Yeah. So where do we go? I would play this relatively slow and just establish warriors in your graveyard. Like, I would drop Payme Protector and the uh, the Raider. You can do the Raider first, yeah, like what you were doing. Um, because then you at least get to use the order. We we fight, we Don't ping it. Yeah, I'd hold it. Like, you could have also, I guess, maybe done Payme Protector first and then pinged with Boat two times. And then we have Bloodthirst 3 for the Raider to ping right away. But we just want to establish the graveyard so that when he pushes us to bleed, we have those cards in our graveyard, but we're not using really any of our header heavy hitters in round one. So that we save them all for the bleed defense. So we want double... Just ping something else. Yeah, ping something that's um, not damaged. Yeah. And then we get out, because we don't want to play any of these goals, right? Right. And with the Skellige location, also has really good synergy with this long ship. Right, boosting it or healing it by three. Yeah, and I mean, he has to play series last or Hemdal has a field day. But I think Hemdal has a field day anyway, unless he like yeah. super bleeds us, which he probably yeah, and will. Yeah, it's, un it's unfortunate that his Nickers came out there at the end. Because if it didn't, then it meant he can't lippy round two. Or if he does... Then he loses a lot of potential there. Dropped a warrior, huh? Uh, yeah, there's really nothing that we need to deal five damage to in this matchup. Yeah, that was good. That's really good, actually. So he's just going for carryover. This is the old school list with the savage bears. Yeah. What raiding cards do we have left on our deck? Um, Champions Charge, War Clans, that's it. Yeah. Okay, I, we could drop Totem here. He can't really bleed it with a Savage Bear. And then next, if he does want to keep going, we could drop something bigger like War of Clans. Or do we just want to play young. a Raider? Because what if he passes? Or you think he's all in? I think if he passes, we just win. Right? Because we clog his board if he passes with our leader. That's true. Yep, yeah, I think you're right. So he gets the slash. Can't bleed. Do we just hold that and put a five down? Or do we just go Blood Eagle and grab like a Berserker or something or a boat? Or even a great sword, because we're gonna use mm. this twice anyways, right? Blood Eagle Berserker is actually pretty funny, because <laughs> then he still can't use his bleed, but his bear will die in two turns um, if he doesn't deal with it. So I kind of, I kind of like that. And we can drop that in back row, and we just won't click the totem yet. I'll smash your mom. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting kind of awkward for him, right? Yeah. So he has one. And he still can't use it, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's a good ping. Um, 
So we have Champion Charge and War of Clans in our deck. Our only way to deal damage to him right now is War of Clans, which kind of is bad. Because then we have to use the next ping on his... We could just grab a protector. Big boy. Put it next to the... Protector. Oh, yeah, that's true. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's definitely so, do it. Vabjorn. So Vabjorn, front left. <laughs> grab a... Or plants, kill his bear, and then grab a protector and put the protector next to the berserker. With my shield, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. Works. And then we got a raider. Oh. That's not really that great. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a nice trade for us. So we can just drop Raider now and click Totem. Women, children, elders. Yeah, I think so we just, just have to be aware of, like, Gigni here if we stack, like, too many units of the same, right. same height in one row. Oh, he's just taking the pings now. For the class, for uh. Oh, he didn't get any damage. Yeah, that's pretty pretty hard ping. Uh, we could do our location here. Yeah, you can just take the ping and then do our location onto Bear Witcher and we can kill Lugos. And then it also sets us up for... Yeah. So... All that in yeah, and then it also sets it up. Now we have the three points in heal, so he's... He... He's thinking, does he really play Lippy, where we just click and we have the three points and heal? We have our other Bear Witcher, which is huge. We've saved really three important golds. I guess Morkvarg in this matchup isn't that important, but um, yeah, we Harold even... and Hemdall are really big. So he goes... Probably Lippy. No. Why is he just... Uh, I guess thinning, so that he gets Royal the Karina stack. Okay, that makes sense. So what's left in his graveyard that he didn't pull, that he missed? Curse of Curse, okay. Curse Fiend, so maybe like you have. But yeah, we just oh. run Bear Witcher. Damage something and then heal both Bear Witchers. That's Igni though. Oh, yeah. Uh, Do they run Igni with Curse of Corruption too? I don't know. I think Curse of Corruption and Heat Wave is more common, but it could be like Curse of Corruption plus Igni instead. Um. That's a bit awkward. Like, we could always just click to heal first. What if we just play Morkvarg? That works as well. Because we're not we're not going to... Like, if you play Morkvarg onto Nickers, just so it... Uh, takes away armor, then it pings for two damage. Yeah. I think you were right on the Igni. <laughs> that might have been... Super yeah, bad. that was a good call. I'm like, oh yeah, Bear Witchers, let's just jam it down. Raiding fleet into a boat. Or is that just a dead card? Oh no, he gets the other boat back. Yeah. So we just play the Bear Witcher. Yeah, I wouldn't kill any units with it, but just like ping Lugos or ping the Morkvard. Double the and you're good there. And he can't play Saris here, so we're in really good shape. Yeah. Because he's already done Royal Decree and on Aramancy here. So does he have yeah. uh -uh. nine points? Nope. So we get card and we have Harold Hamdal leader. Which is super nice. Yeah, we should be able to, like you said, play around Igni too, if he has it. It might be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, he... I think he's more likely to play Heatwave, but Igni is always a possibility with Lippy Dex. Um, Madman and Skewer to yeah. the deck. Uh, so drop I'd probably dump Kurt, uh, Champion's Charge, because Champion's Charge, he doesn't go tall. It plays for six points of damage. Pings or the seven? You'd probably drop the Hunter. Yeah. No. Uh, it's terrible. <laughs> I mean, it plays for six points. It's not that terrible, but. So we... yeah, I would do the I would do the seven first, just because if he takes out Harold, then it's just less pings that we have. True. Resist the will, and that's how we'll end you. Yeah, I think the I think the Hemdall's gonna be 
Oh, oh, well, that doesn't really do anything on, for him, go. right? Yeah, he can't use it, but the one thing is that now our pings are going to hit that. So it's a bit... Awkward. Of a... Uh, yeah. But I still think we har Herald is kind of our own... I think we go back row. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that it matters. Right, uh, yeah, I guess for like Gigas, um, Delirium, but, so we know he plays Gigas Corp in the caution, but. Yeah, this, this blue boy might smurf us pretty hard. Yeah, like, that's unfortunate for us. He might just play a special. Or does he, yep. Like, we could leader here and just bloody with a Skirdal. So Skirdal's a gold in our deck, and we have um, Lugos, right? Those are the only two gold warriors we're missing. So we're going front row. Yeah. Yeah, and then Hamdal's just not for us. Oof. And we go Skirdal? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Over my dead and cold body. The whole board's going. Yeah, much bigger Hemdall. <laughs> Hopefully he gives us a target though for this warrior. I mean it's gonna only play for five right now, and that's three. That was a rough mulligan to get. We'll greet him well. We still win though. Fire yeah, I think so. Like he has twenty five points here, but Hemdall Hemdall beats him. I see. It's very yeah. important. I mean, especially with Hemball here, it's so many points. Yep. And the Bear Abomination was nice enough to play melee row. Right? That's a nice 15 point Hemball <laughs> plus <laughs> including the Herald Ping. Alright. All right. Oh shit. Uprising. So, so this might be like I ran Witcher. into yeah they they swarm with all the witchers and shit. Um, so we don't need to clan, so. Yep, definitely dropping clans. It'd be nice to have some sort of hard damage. Uh, so like maybe drop the Brofire Hunter here. Though we do have some with Vabjorn, but we kind of want to use them for Blood Eagle. Yeah, I'd swap the Invader. For, see if we can get like a um, cutting slash. Would be nice. Nothing. Yeah, double boat's pretty nice, especially when paired with Amy Protector. So we're going boat first, but. right? Yeah. Nobody runs boiling oil, right? Nobody. Yeah, I <laughs> ran into this once, and they actually two owed me two cards down. <laughs> it wow. was kind of insane. Was it like a shield variant, or was it like yeah. a... Yeah, um... yeah, they just kept spawning all the witchers. And I was even able to get a pretty decent yeah. Igni. Um, so we just go... Protector? Yeah. Let's get Protector up. And then eventually we can always use TA on the boat, too. Just to get more points and damage. And then the Protector boosts. Double boat's not bad. What's he? And he doesn't get the armor, which is nice. Yeah. Even though it's probably going to be shielded. Maybe he runs. Uh... Yep, there it is. Yeah, we definitely want to kill that because he may be running the, the veil. A unit, so it doesn't get lost. So at the end, once he hits adrenaline three, he's dealing three damage so to a random unit. Do we play the raider first to try to kill? Oh, it doesn't matter because he boosts it. Saves the charge, really. I would get the second boat out first, just to be boosting your protector. And then we just hit the four, huh? Still? Or do we? Yeah, because we always have the option then next turn, if he doesn't use the boot to hit it with a long ship and then do something like Vabior and Blood Eagle. Yeah, because this is only boost two, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Fortunately, it doesn't have the veil on it, which is always good, because this is stupid when it has veil on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid he might do that. Uh, that's unfortunate, so he has that. But we just kill it before he ends up being able to use it. How do we kill it? With the boat pings. Because he's shielded guy. Ooh, okay. Now we don't. What do we have in deck? We can... Uh... We can blood eagle, ping ping, and grab up another. We can grab a berserker. We well, we we probably should just grab another raider, huh? Or should we grab a hunter? Probably. Yeah, not. I mean, hunt, hunter. I think is hunter a warrior. Why don't we blood eagle and then just? grab the uh, three-point card and kill the Griffin Witcher. Because then we have it in our deck for War of Clans. Uh, hit the front guy, the front Witcher. Yeah, because we want to kill him. Um, to stop dealing damage. Then we Vabjorn to Blood Eagle to the Oncrate Warrior. Blood Eagle into what? Oncrate uh, Warrior, yep, right there. Oh, it might not hit the right one. Uh, okay, as long as we get off. Okay, that's good. <laughs> well, he just transforms it, right? No, he can only transform Witchers. Ah. So that's why we wanted to kill the front one. Instead of getting the front one down to two, now we have this card in our graveyard to line up our War of Clans, so our War of Clans can hit for five if needed. Alternatively, War of Clans can take out two units. Like two, like, two-point units if he's playing, like, um, the Witcher students. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is true. Yeah. So there's the Witcher student team. He's gonna quit this guy after. We have no way to kill that, huh? I mean, nah. We like we could ping it with a boat, but it's pretty useless, I think. Is he may just uh get another Witcher student and then. So we just go greatsword. That's it. Yeah, we can greatsword and then we can do a TA on one of our boats. Uh, yeah. Alternatively, we could have pinged one first, but then the Greatsword loses one boost, and then done Greatsword next to Protector. So we're just hitting the six then, or...? Yeah, just... Just hit the six. So that's not too bad. How does he get the more Witchers now? He can play another one of those things that he just played where he puts Witcher students down. But there's a pretty big point gap. Although I think we do want a shorter round compared to him being Uprising. Oh yeah, he, our, his, uh, his little farmer guys play for like 16s. Yeah. Yeah, in the long round they can get insane. Especially with this, if they play Erland that boosts every unit in your deck. It's... I kind of goofed. They should have played the great sword over here. And because are we gonna play totem or no? Or do we need that for the bleed? I don't know. I think. I think we'll probably save totem for the bleed and play raiders. Like raiders, we don't get the two damage off. But we put that warrior in our graveyard. Because. Yeah, it's our graveyard. The three this? and the the six. He, spawn, he draws a card with Adrenaline and spawns a Witcher student in each row, so he's getting more of these cards, but at least, so we're definitely pinging the Witcher student now. So we're just... Um, you know what we can... Yeah, 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 ping, so play Raider and then ping the Witcher student down to zero. So we're killing that little two, huh? Yeah, because he's going to be able to transform him and we don't want that to happen. Yeah, it seems pretty. We and get he, the ten. Um, and he's probably playing Erland here. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if that's his play, because he his last card was draw a card with adrenaline. And Erland has that to boost every other unit in his deck by one now, so it synergizes really well with Uprising. Yeah, I ran into something similar to this earlier, and it was it was bananas what they were able to pull off, for sure. I believe it. <laughs> the one thing is, we don't really want to play anything else that we have in our hand now. Right. Yeah, and Hemdall's 
no good at all, really. <laughs> yeah. Plays for one point, my. Well, unless you get God Pinks, but. Yeah. Really hoping he just passes. Or he plays something very low tempo. Yeah, there's Erland. That's the card that he drew. So. so So we just kill it with the charge? Because this is going to play for 20, right? It could, it could, right, if he clicks it. But alternatively, he may, he may not choose to click it because he has Uprising. Um, but I think we do have to play here because otherwise he just clicks Erland and wins the round and then gets a long round 3 guaranteed. So we just champions charge it? It's really the only card we got, right? Yeah. No point in using the leader ping, huh? Or the boat, right? Yeah, it's net zero. Like, it doesn't hurt us, but it doesn't help us. You might also be playing Ragnar. Oh, for sure he is. I guarantee it. That's what I ran in. I was able to get an Igni for, I think it was 18... Two 18s, and I still didn't have enough points. Oh. Yeah, I was playing uh, Spessy's Ragnar list, or something similar to it the other day. And uh, I think my biggest Ragnar was like a 37-point Ragnar. It was insane. <laughs> You're dropping the Protector, right? Yeah. Yeah, what else do we have? So we're missing Morkvarg. We're missing Lugos and Skjordal. So they dropped the Berserker, huh? Probably, yeah. Uh, I would just, yeah, I'd, I'd play the uh, the hunter first here to line up the one point in damage or whatever he plays. Yeah, I mean, even with Harold and Thing, if we go to card down, we should be okay. Yeah, yeah, as long as we save our leader, like leader w with saving like Harold's. Is just really good in round three. Well, this is a, against... this is good. It's gonna hit for three, so we kill something that's four. Yep, yep. So if he plays something like his uh, his royal guard, then we can just deal with it right away. Uh, or his griffin adept. It doesn't. Oh, it uh, has a shield. Yeah, it has shield. Time is the easy bit. Get down to another matter. Is it worth pinging it and hitting it with? The Witcher? Because then he just transforms it? The thing about doing that is then he gets another one and then he can transform take this the one. second one he gets and transform that one back. Like it's probably worth it to just take out the shield. But maybe we just take out the shield and then we drop totem or something. Alternatively, like I could see the argument for keeping the ping and not using it there. Because then you can still have that four points in damage. Right. So what does um, what does this one do? Boost a unit in your deck by three. Now did they run? Did they? Did he use? Oh, he has um, what's it called? Can't see it getting any better than this. So where do we go? Is we play one more card, huh? We just hit the griffin and flip the boat or flip the totem. I would hit the adapt actually over the griffin. And here's my argument for it because if we hit the adapt, he then next turn we anyways. set up a bloody we set up a blood eagle target for us for something to pick anything that we want. So we could like blood eagle to Babjorn. Um, so we're hitting the four, yeah. All that dancing, and then we can click boat. And if he plays a student, we're able to kill that because we can... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we have Blood Eagle. Blood Eagle to Vabjorn to something like War of Clans to kill the new Witcher that. Oh, uh, but he boosted it. This might be our pass. 
He hasn't played much. But... Seems alright. Yeah. He still needs six points. I mean, he gets... He gets one from his ping, plus three because he's going to have the adrenaline and then it's going to lock it. So he's, he's got four from his from his melee row guy alone. Yeah, the, the Herald's just going to have to put in some work on the pings. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's going to have all these boosted units. So things like War of Clans are going to come up really nicely to just ding down. Maybe not necessarily kill units. But ding them down depending on what he's playing. But if he plays more adapts, he'll definitely want to kill them because him getting a big Ragnar can be rough. There it is. He's got the. Your heart was like this mad fear. That's crazy. Yeah. I really like that interaction. Yeah, it's a cool card. All right. So we just we just need our Hemdal to put in more glossy, I think. Yep. Now we've already played Champions Charge, so we don't have to worry about Bloodthirst 3 for that purpose. Um, I think we just toss Berserker to hope for something like Skjordal or Morphark. There we go. There we go. Nice. Alright, so Lugos is basically the Lugos and Blood Eagle are the only things that we want the Bloodthirst for. So we're bringing back the Raider, huh? Yeah. Because we didn't play a. Um, well, yeah, I was going to say, we didn't play a great sword, but I think we in this matchup, you basically always want that damage. Yeah, la if we can get a last say on uh, Morkvarg, I think we'll be good. Yeah, he's still yeah, going to have a, gonna a kill lot of points. Yeah. He's going to have a lot of points. Yeah. What are we pulling with the... Probably just it's the probably... Yeah, it's probably going to be Bear Witcher, but we might get enough damage units for Mentor. It probably is Bear Witcher. To hit the mark, we aim above the mark. Okay, so he put something back in his deck. So we just go Herald, right? Yeah, just start damaging stuff. Drums, all of yous. Let me grab up the Raider, right? And they don't have no corpses. They don't have rose stack the punish, they right? Still live. They shouldn't. Like they, they they mostly have pretty um like independent pings from the new Witcher card that he was using that he veiled earlier. Right. But I think he's played two of those, right? I think so. So, so he doesn't have any of those left. Like I think I think their deck's pretty non-interactive with ours. So we we just play the location and hit this for thing and hold the charge. Or do we? Yeah, we can do that. Or do we take the blood eagle now? But we want it for Morkvarg, right? Yeah, we want to try to say blood eagle for Morkvarg if we need it. So, so I would do location, and you can probably do it next to the raider in case he like damages it. Then at least you heal two things. Right. Like chances of him damaging it are, are not amazing, but just Double in the case the that he... and consider it done. Yeah, I, I don't think any of their other. I mean, I think they still run on Sace, right? Or no, they just go all in on the Witchers. I don't think they do on Sace. Like with the amount of adepts that he's played, I'm pretty sure his finisher is just Ragnar. But we can take that out with with Morfarg. And as long as we're keeping a lot of damaged units, and floating that Raider ping is really nice. Oh shit. Gonna have a thick Eskel and Lambert Vesemir combo. Look at those boys. Yeah. So we just take the Skordal on the five, or? What's, what's uh, Vesemir's base power? Is it three, two? I haven't played these guys to be. Yeah, you can probably screw up. Skirt all the five. The five. And then I would also ping Lambert with the Raider. Because the less. 
boosted units he has, basically the better. Oh, he set up two of them for us. Yeah, there we go. We can hold this, right? As well. I don't think there's a reason not to click it. Like, especially where he's played both of his adepts already. I mean, the, um, I forget the new card's name, oh, where shit. it deals one damage. Two days of pursuit. If you want, you could lead her here and then just handle. Uh, I would, I would say Lugos. The seven. Like, yeah. Like, I could even for doing it on the seven or eight, depending on uh, which what he's doing. He's, but, I mean, he's gonna probably get more value out of this, right? Yeah, I, I don't know what synergies they have that they can. Maybe like Cohen to transfer the boosts, but. Well, I think all... the point gap here is the point gap here is pretty good where we just win this. Yeah, as like long if as we especially have... if it's finishes Ragnar. Sorry, what was that? As long as we have uh, Morkvarg at the end, I think we'll be good. Yeah, and we have access to it through multiple ways. Like he can boost two units with his leader, but we still have stuff that's less that uh, two points or less. So this is Cohen. I'm not sure. Leo. Okay. And that's probably our, our mark. That's probably like a decent so. mark, right? Right. Because if we mark like that, how big is his Ragnar actually? Not that much, right? Yeah. So we can we can um, do Blood Eagle on the melee two point one. Okay, he's healing shit up. I would. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be his biggest Scythe So that's interesting. So does he have Ragnar? So we just take the Hemdall back row, huh? But then the one risk that you have is you may miss it. lose out on Blood Eagles. Like, I would Blood Eagle Vesemir Mentor here because it deals damage and it doesn't kill him, and you already have Bloodthirst 3, so you don't need to kill a unit. Oh, so just this one. Yeah, and then we just Morkbarg his Leo. Because it gets rid of a shield for Pogner, and then it also makes a unit damage. So it was at 12, and now it's at 3. Yeah, 14 nice. points, and we have Hemdall last, say. So pretty easy. Yeah. Yep. Oh, the Scytheman. Ah, uh, Scytheman. Yeah, it's not <laughs> even enough. Yeah, so I'm glad that we hit Vesemir with that. Yeah. The Blood Eagle, because it gives him less boosted units. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice game. Yeah. Awesome, Mr. Avedas. Uh, we appreciate you, sir, for hanging out. Let everybody know where we can uh, find you at. Yep, so I stream on Twitch five days a week, and then I also make YouTube videos uh, a couple times a month. You can find me either by searching on Twitch or YouTube under A-V-A-D-E-S Avedas. Um, what times do you stream and what um, time zone are you in? Yeah, I stream at 10.30 uh, p.m. every night of the week, so Monday nights and Friday nights. Eastern? In Eastern Standard Time. Eastern yep. Time. Okay, cool. All right. Well, that'll work, guys. Uh, like always, thank you for watching. Make sure you check out Team of Ithan Gaming dot uh, com for some good stuff. Meta Snapshot probably won't be for like another week, week and a half. Uh, they're still tinkering with stuff. Things are still popping up, as you can see. So uh, give it some time. But once it is, we'll start uh, shuffling some lists. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.